Okay, so the next part of this, we're gonna start transitioning into the swing. So, start off with a thing called the gorilla. So you look like a silverback gorilla. So this is your position. Set up, put the kettlebell in front of you, like that. We're gonna set up exactly like what we did before with the, with the movement in the previous video where we've got stretch the hamstrings back. And now what I'm gonna do is push my arms out to grab the kettlebell. And important note with this one, when the arms aren't floppy, they're not just loose by the side or anything, your arms are tight, locked in tight like that, and you're squeezing them in tight next to your ribs like this. So we're gonna grab it, and that's your start position. Cool. Now from there, we're gonna transition into the height, which is, if you've ever watched NFL, it's where you hike the ball back between the legs. So that's place what we're doing, that's what we're gonna do with the kettlebell. You're gonna hike it back with the straight arms. It's gonna look kinda of almost robotic like. So you're gonna go from here, you're gonna swing it back till the forearms brush up on the inside of your thighs. And then you're gonna come up and you're gonna look like that. Notice the angle of the arm doesn't really change. A lot of people will try and do this. Swing the arms up. This kettlebell swing is great for abs, great for butt, great for hamstrings, and your grip strength too. So it's not too much about the shoulders. We wanna lock those arms down like this, and we're gonna hike it back, hike, and start swinging. So you can just practice the hike a couple of times. Put it down. Get that gorilla position. Hike it back. One swing. Put it down. 